Hey guys, welcome to the video. It's Martin Cliff here, um, and it's another My Guitars update. Um, again, a slightly unusual one perhaps, although not in terms of the choice of a guitar, I guess. So this is a 2017 Sur S2 Throwback Standard Pro. Uh, they released a range of older um, style or spec of guitars uh, a couple of years ago that had basically were going back to the old Pro series, which the S4 like Blue were from, um, and this is a ash body with a trans butterscotch or trans straw, depending on um, which naming convention you you believe. Finish. Um, so it's got a little bit of figure to it, but it's not got a flame maple cap or anything like that. Uh, maple board, which is to be honest the reason I bought the guitar, but I'll go into that. Um, in a minute and then the standard um, SSH plus and ML standard uh, single coil pickups from Sir um, not as many of you will know the biggest fan of the SSH plus it's a little bit um, powerful for my tastes a little bit modern sounding for my taste I much prefer the SSV plus but this is completely stock um, I got it yesterday as I'm filming this video uh, I bought it from a guitar shop in Jakarta in Indonesia actually because they were the cheapest place that had them in stock and could ship them for a reasonable amount of money. Um, and I am, well I'm kind of sure with certain things I'm going to do to this guitar, um, but I'm not sure in the long term whether I'm going to keep this guitar per se. Um, in the same way as my, my JM Pro, I'm not. I'm a little bit on the fence of what to do with it. Um, so I bought the guitar as I primarily for the neck um, because my last standard pro I, I just can't get on with that rosewood fretboard at all. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is swap the necks over, which is obviously a simple job to do, it's just four bolts. Um, and then beyond that, whether I, I pimp this up with the uh, the chrome knobs and switch cover and stick a pearl plate on and a different pickup and all that. Uh, I'll see how things go about that. I'm not going to rush into any decisions beyond just changing the neck over. So this is this is brand new um, from the shop, which means it's got the stock, I guess, Ernie Ball 10s. They're certainly not the Dario's on it. Uh, so I've got it tuned to E flat, roughly. Um, if you've got perfect pitch, it may not be perfectly in tune. It's in tune with itself, which is what mattered for the purpose of this video. Um, so yeah, uh, plays like one would expect a uh, standard to do so um, and it just sounds I'm just running through my Blackstar Artist 10 Anniversary Edition so the neck pickup action is a little low but obviously I can adjust that once I've swapped the necks over Also the pickups are a little bit lower down, close to the body. Certainly the neck pickup than I usually go for. I usually like the neck pickup a little higher and then the middle pickup a little lower so I can get a slightly softer tone when I switch to the middle pickup. Um, but yeah, uh, that's the neck pickup on its own. Pickups together. Middle pick up on its own. Pretty cool. Um, I was really inspired by watching um, the Captain Meets Walter Trout uh, on Anderson's TV uh, the other week, uh, where he played the entire open ja opening jam on the middle pickup, uh, which is a underappreciated pickup selection by a lot of people. Um, but yeah, it, I quite like it on my HSS guitars. It gives me a, a useful tone. As I say, I like it to be a little bit softer so I can dig in harder. Um, obviously this has got silent single coil. Try saying that three times fast. Um, 
thing so it's pretty much noiseless in all positions which is really useful. So it's got a little bit of quack to the uh, bridge in the middle. is definitely too low at the moment um, but. and then the bridge humbucker's got plenty of bite you can tell it's early in the morning uh, my hands have not fully woken up yet um, but yeah obviously it will Played gently, it's quite a responsive pickup. Got the amp just breaking up a little. So I've not done anything yet, as I say, to it. Uh, it arrived. Yesterday afternoon, it's come out of the box and I've tuned it up and played it. It was almost in tune when it came, which is cool, but I've retuned it to E flat since. Um, yeah, I don't know about the finish. I'm not sure whether I really like it. Um, I say I bought it for the neck primarily um, because you can't basically get a neck from so, or if you could, it would be ridiculously expensive. Uh, so. We'll see exactly what happens to this guitar um, over the next 12 months. I will probably make that decision. Um, but it was a good price um, and it's a Sir, so obviously it's going to be amazing from a playability point of view. It's going to sound really good, just maybe the aesthetics um, and I guess I potentially have more than I need. I know overall in terms of guitars I have way more than I need. I am working on that, um, but it's taking some time. And also I'm conscious that at this stage in Hong Kong it's difficult to sell uh, instruments because the used market is not great. People like new stuff uh, and so stuff is going to be worth more money when we return to the UK or Europe in just over 12 months time. So we will um, yeah, it, may, it probably is worth my while hanging on to stuff for a year, even though it does make me slightly uncomfortable about the sheer amount of stuff I've got at the moment. Um, from a financial point of view, it probably makes sense to hang on a little longer. So, we'll see. Um, but yeah, this is a guitar. This has been my guitars. I am Martin. Take care, guys, and I'll speak to you soon. Mm -hmm.